Hi guys, it's Kat. Thank you so much for watching. So today's video is going to be my monthly favorites. We are now at the end of February. That means March is here, which means that spring is a lot closer, which is exciting. Um, also, my birthday is in spring, so very, very exciting. Okay, so I don't have that many things this month. I've really been consistent with all the things that I showed you last month. Um, pretty much the same favorites, so... Not that many things here, but I'm just going to go ahead and get started. So the first thing, and you got, you guys probably already know I'm going to mention these. They're these babies right here. Absolutely obsessed. I can't stop using them. Um, all three I'm in love with. I have Plum Pop, Peach Pop, and Ginger Pop. Right now I'm wearing Ginger Pop. And the difference between Peach Pop and Ginger Pop, this one is more of like a... Um, a ginger color it's more bronzy than than this one than the peach the peach is definitely a, a real peach um, there's no you know red undertones or anything to it it's just a real peach blush you know this one has more of like a it's peachy but it has like a bronzy color so it's really really pretty I love 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 them they're almost um, they're almost creamy that's how pigmented they are they almost feel like a cream uh, but they leave your cheeks just with a nice touch of color and a pretty sheen so really love these I am gonna go and get berry pop I know one of you uh, said that you that I needed berry pop so thank you for enabling me but I am gonna go pick that one up soon so love those next item is definitely the Mali perfect prep primer this is like a lifesaver for me first primer that I've actually been able to tell a difference with my skin like if I don't wear this and I put foundation on I can definitely tell the difference it just helps me with my I have like texture on my cheeks I don't know why it never goes away but it's there and I really hate how it looks um, so this helps smooth that out I have a little bit of maybe I have not not crazy amount of pores here but I do have them so this really helps you know smooth everything out it keeps my foundation on can't be without it now. I, I, I'm so happy that I decided to try the kit because I found something really awesome. So I love that. Next is a skincare product. I haven't mentioned this and I can't believe I haven't mentioned it because I've been using it for quite a while. And this is my Neutrogena Ageless Intensives. Ageless Intensives. Ooh, I can't speak today. Deep Wrinkle Moisture. And this is my night cream. Um, and I've been using this in conjunction with my beauty oils. Um, this has retinol in it. So this is supposed to help for wrinkles and um, smooth out your skin. It also helps a lot with my uh, acne. Like it keeps my skin in check. I don't even know how to explain it. But you can definitely Google it. Retinol is definitely not for everybody um, when you first start using this it really can dry out your skin but it, what it does it helps your skin regenerate its cells so it exfoliates that's what they call it so I have been using this pretty much all month and last month so I'm almost out of it but I have noticed that my skin's texture has definitely improved um, and I'm probably gonna do a skincare video soon skincare video soon just because I, it's kind of complicated but um, I alternate between this one between this cream and my beauty oil but I just wanted to mention it that I have been using it and I do like it um, just warning that when you first start using this about for like the first two weeks your skin is gonna be extremely extremely dry um, so don't be alarmed if you're thinking of using a retinol it does get better and it does smooth out your skin and I just I really like it so I, I have been using it and I love next it. is this and <laughs> this is the Anastasia dip brow pomade the color that I have is in chocolate now I have to say matching yourself is pretty stressful I have to say because uh, this is a really concentrated product so I don't know I was very iffy about it I was going to go return it I was just like this is too much I can't use this but everybody kept telling me that they liked my eyebrows and I was like oh my god but they look super intense so I kind of found a way to use it that doesn't make it look so intense and it, it, it makes it more practical for everyday wear and how I've been using it I didn't use it this way today but I take my spoolie and I just like dip it into it you see that little mark in there it's from this and I dip it just the tiniest amount and I put some on like the back of my hand just to get rid of the excess and I just brush my eyebrows through with it and this is the only way that I can pretty much use it every day because otherwise I just feel like my eyebrows are super super intense and I know that they look really nice on camera but in for me in person I feel like they're a bit too much like I don't mind at night I'll definitely go ahead and use it but during the day I just feel like 
it can be a little bit too much so it's definitely not for me I, don't, I wouldn't say that it's an everyday or a natural looking product um, especially because I have really thick eyebrows so I mean if, if you really need help in the eyebrow department you definitely want to take a look at this but if you have really you know thick eyebrows already you might not need this but I have to say it really makes your eyebrows look really sharp so that I've been using and I, I decided that I like it I'm um, just about I like anything that Anastasia makes but I was on the fence about it for a while so I like it I, I ended up liking it I am gonna go try the um, brush the number 12 brush I think it's called that she made for the, the the dip brow just because I feel like maybe I might like it a little bit more if I use that brush with it I have this one which is ooh, it has a fuzzy on it it's just a target brush that's angled and I use this a lot for my powder but I want to try another brush with it just to see if I like the application better but today I just I used this brush and um, that's what came out but like I said on an everyday basis I just dip my spoolie into it and then just brush it through and it just it's enough for me for, at least for every day so yeah moving on this is another thing I've been enjoying for my brows and this is the benefit highbrow pencil and this is just like a crayon it's matte but it has like that pink undertone it's like a pinky uh, color I don't even know how to explain it but when you put this on I put this on right like right underneath my eyebrow I just trace the uh, right underneath my eyebrow and I'm gonna put a little bit on so you can see you just put some on like that and um, you blend it out and it just gives your eyebrow like like a lifted effect and it really helps especially if you haven't done your eyebrows in a while it really really makes your eyebrows look really nice and sharp so I definitely recommend this uh, I think Milani has one too so if you, if you don't want to go for like the high-end one I know that Milani makes a pencil like this too so definitely worth checking out next is a concealer that I didn't even realize that I liked it as much just because I was reaching for it like subconsciously like I didn't even know I was picking this up as much as I am but this is the Estee Lauder double wear stay in place flawless wear concealer and this is in the color 02 light medium and I've really been enjoying this concealer it really stays in place it doesn't crease on me the color is perfect for me right now and nothing bad to say about it so definitely a favorite and next is this color tattoo by Maybelline. I love these. This color in particular is definitely my favorite. This is part of their new collection, the Dare to Go Nude collection, and I did a video on that. Um, but this one is in the color Caramel Cool, and it is beautiful. Really, really pretty. So, so pigmented. Um, I love it, and I've just been using that pretty much on its own and like blending out the edges really really nicely and applying mascara and that has been my eye look for the most part of the month um, so really really like these if you can find them pick them up as or just try to pick this one up I'm pretty sure that you'll like you'll like it a lot and the lastly but not least is this Paul Mitchell hot off the press uh, thermal protection hairspray this is really really good stuff I've been using this for maybe about two months now um, and what this is, is you're supposed to pl apply this to your hair before you flat iron it or before you curl it. So I've been using it both ways. Um, <clears throat> today I used it and I used um, a really big curling iron. I, I think it's like a two inch curling iron. And usually with that curling iron, even when my hair is really long, the curls do not stay. But if I spray this into my hair before I start curling it, my curls just last forever. This is That's why I really like it. Um, in my previous video I used my Remington uh, elliptical curling wand and my hair stayed curled like that exactly for like three days like I had to wash it just because it was disgusting it was uh, it was greasy and I, I you know I needed to really wash my hair but I didn't want to just because the curls looked so so pretty they looked intact so if you have trouble keeping a curl in your hair I definitely recommend this um, I got this at a a pro store because my mom and my aunt they're beauticians so um, I don't know really where you can find this I'm pretty sure you can find it online though um, but I definitely recommend it super super amazing at keeping your hair curled so that is going to be it for this video I hope that you guys had an amazing month thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you soon bye